It doesn't matter what your job is, you can expand your horizons by joining the Royal Air Force as a reservist. It brings new challenges that are both demanding and rewarding in so many different ways. In the RAF reserves, we tend to do an awful lot of stuff that you'd never do in civilian life. And you actually feel like you're doing something which is worthwhile. You'll find that being an RAF reservist offers you the best of both worlds. Working and training alongside regular RAF personnel in the UK and overseas provides a lifetime opportunity to take new skills back to your full-time job. As an RAF reservist, you'll develop a passion for the service dedication in what you do and experience real team spirit. It doesn't just stop there. You'll become more self-confident, adaptable and able to cope under pressure dealing with whatever challenges life brings. Just like the regulars, the RAF Reserve's role is to defend the UK and its interests as well as strengthen international peace and stability. This supports the RAF's mission to provide an agile, adaptable and capable air force that person for person is second to none. As an RAF reservist, you'll strengthen your leadership abilities, communication and practical skills. You'll learn from practical training, further develop your coordination abilities and attention to detail. So this benefits both you and your employer. Within the RAF reserves, you'll be able to realise your full potential, constantly adding valuable personal skills and practical qualifications. Becoming an RAF reservist means you are investing in your future and at the same time you can be proud of serving your country. Within the RAF reserves, you'll meet like-minded people from all walks of life who enjoy the unique traditions and culture of today's Royal Air Force. Although it's not all hard work, there are many social activities from barbecues to formal dinners. For those with families, there are also events to enjoy. Being on the squadron and the flight that I'm in, the camaraderie is, is brilliant. I've met so many friends. As a member of the RAF reserves, you find there are things you wouldn't otherwise get to do. This is all about stretching your mind and body as hard as you can. There are expeditions and adventure training. There's plenty of opportunity to discover new activities. Once a year, we have the opportunity to go adventure training for a weekend. It can be from cycling to climbing to walking to skiing, whatever you really you're interested in getting involved in. You don't have to be an elite athlete, but you do need a good level of fitness to carry out your work effectively, whatever your role. You'll be expected to stay in shape but there's plenty of support for you, and every base has its own free sports facilities. The RAF's physical training instructors are there to offer training advice and tips. Fitness is important because you need to be able to do your job. If you're not fit, then you're not going to be able to perform to the best of your abilities. You'll also receive a tax-free lump sum, known as a bounty, provided you complete your annual training. Once you join, you'll be paid a daily rate which is determined by your rank, your role and your level of experience. As a reservist, you'll need to do a minimum of 27 days a year, which includes a two-week block and one weekend a month. You'll be fully integrated into the RAF from day one. Like regular RAF personnel, you can expect to be mobilised on expeditionary operations at some time. Usually, you sign up to the RAF reserves for 12 years, but shorter periods may be approved. You could be filling in for an RAF regular on a base in the UK or serving with forces carrying out operations around the world. You could do a tour of duty, which can be anything up to six months, plus pre-deployment training and post-deployment leave when the tour is over. So the maximum time you're away from your employer is about a year. As part of the RAF family, 
there's a network of support for your partner and family while you're away from home, which includes practical advice and assistance. You'll need to tell your employer that you're joining the RAF reserves. There are a variety of measures in place to support both you and your employer should you be deployed. Speak to a recruiter for more details. RAF reservists serve across the UK. Each location contains squadrons which are the basic fighting units of the Royal Air Force. Different squadrons offer a range of RAF reservist roles that also includes the RAF regiment who are world leaders in air-minded soldiering. Some squadrons recruit on a national level, so where you live needn't necessarily limit your choices. To minimise the impact of your reservist activities on your employer, most of your training will take place outside normal working hours. Whether you join as an airman, airwoman or an officer, you'll train alongside regular RAF personnel. Initial airman, airwoman training begins with your squadron and culminates in 15 days continuous training at RAF Halton in Buckinghamshire. The training covers an introduction to life in the RAF reserves, general service knowledge, drill, field training and team building. You'll need to pass this course before you can move on to your specialised training with your squadron. Reserve officer initial training takes place at RAF College Cranwell and consists of a two-week residential phase with additional distance learning. You'll learn the skills that are needed to command and support non-commissioned personnel. To join the RAF reserves, you'll need to be aged between 18 and 50 or up to 56 if you have previous military experience, medically fit and a citizen of the UK or the Commonwealth. Previous military experience is not necessary. Most civilians enter the reserves as an aircraftman. From here, you can work your way up to non-commissioned officer. If you have specialised professional qualifications, it may also be possible to apply for a vacancy as an RAF reservist officer. Since I've joined the RAF reserves, I've become a great deal more confident. I've definitely improved in my fitness levels and I've gained a wide variety of skills that I'll be able to use in the future. You get great camaraderie out of it, you learn social skills, leadership skills, managerial skills, and then you can take that out into the civilian world. When I work alongside regular RAF personnel, I feel like I am part of their team. We've undertaken the same basic military training and I'm working along the same course. It's very rewarding and at the end of the day you feel like you've, you've actually achieved something. Be an RAF reservist. Fit it around your life. Embark on adventures and be part of something special. For more information, search online for RAF Reserves.